Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to sew Gamier. Um, so I've got Gamier from Drosera Spelios and Drosera Rosanna, which I'll be showing you how to do in a second. Now these are the two um, pygmy sundries that I've currently got, which are Drosera Polcella and Drosera Scorpiodes. Now the Polcella are not looking that great at the moment as uh, they only have one individual root and when transplanted they sulk a bit and sometimes even die so they're not looking great at the moment, they are slowly coming back so I'm not too worried about them but I thought that I, it would make a nice little display in this hand painted bowl decoration I've done now my favourite of all the Drosera um, Pygmy Sundries is that of uh, the Scorpiodes which are the tall ones at the back now they're really nice and they're also known as the Shaggy Sundry so they're quite rugged, quite messy, but they have beautiful little traps and a nice like orangey colour, which you can see here. Now if you watched my previous video then you would have seen that I got this um, Gamier from Planting Memories. So he's a really close friend of mine and um, we did a plant swap, which it was in my previous video. It was only a short one on the plant swap. Um, so I've decided to make a tutorial of the Gamier he gave me. So. He gave me the Spelios and then the Rosanna, which I'm now going to do in the video. I'll definitely go and check him out if you haven't done so already. And he does both houseplants and some carnivorous plants, which I've helped him grow over the years. So for sowing these gamier, I am doing a mixture of peat, perlite and sand, because these plants like a lot of aeration in their soil. So this is the best way to provide that for them. Okay, once you've mixed your mixture, place them in the designated pots and um, soak them right through. So the same as if you were sowing seeds. So um, I've gone for reasonably big and wide pots because I want them to be in these pots for as long as possible. So I'm hoping that this will be their lifelong pots. Now that being said, you can plant them in smaller pots and transplant them when they're bigger. you just got to be very careful of their roots and try not to disturb them to reduce any loss of your plants. Okay, so now I'm going to sow the gamier. So first of all, I'm going to start off with the spelios. So as you can see, they're little tiny like green dots. So they're actually like a bud or a leaf that um, basically could form another organism. So I'm just going to get them one by one and place them on the soil really gently. So it's quite hard to get them off of the paper and it's easy to lose them as well so if you find using some different tool might be better you could use that and now for the rosiana so i've got less of these but i'm going to use the same method And then after you've sown all the gamier, that is literally it. All you have to do is wait. They don't take long at all to sprout because they're not like seed. Um, so they're, they're already ready to go, really. And as you can see, they just plant on top of the soil. And I'm going to put them in my propagator inside and leave them. And then I'll give you an update in a week or so, a couple of weeks, um, when they germinate and show you the outcome. Thank you for watching.